Hi travelers, Tara here. I'm coming to you with a short reading. Today is what, January 4th. I hope that you guys had a really great um, holiday, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all of that stuff, and a great new year um, for those of you who celebrate it. Um, I did. I am now trying to quote unquote recover. You know, the bills are in the mail, uh, the family members have left things are starting to return back to normal. Um, I've been very busy these past uh, 24, 48 hours. I've done some work on the website. Um, I've got some new products and pricing for you people. Uh, again, if you don't get over to the website, you're not going to know any of this stuff. So um, I'm already booked out for the end of this week. Um, so if you want to get a reading with some of the new prices and the new product plans, then, you know, get on over to the website. There's going to be an I in the top right hand corner of this video. If you click on the I, that stands for information that will take you directly to the site. Go over and take a look around. Um, it's also a blog. Um, you know, look, I have it in the channel art. It's WordPress. It's below the video. It's in the about box and you're going to have a link in the top right hand corner with the little eye that comes up. So if you don't, you know, take the initiative and find out what I'm doing, then you're not going to know. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started with the reading. This is going to be just a quick reading, a uh, general reading. Uh, see what's going on this week coming up. I haven't used the Marseille deck in a while, so I'm going to pull these out. And, uh, well, I have them out. And <laughs> we're going to see what we can see. Um, we do have some planetary influences. We had Venus come back, uh, I think it was on the 1st, and this is like a Venus return. So we know that Venus is going to be bringing back uh, things from our past to find out how we learned any lessons from them. And I think I had been warning you before that typically it'll bring people back from the past. And I said, you know, well, nothing good comes of a of a Venus return. I'm going to alter that a little bit and say that, you know, maybe someone coming back from your past, it might be a good thing. Okay. And, you know, maybe they're exes for a reason, but if you've been doing the work and you figured out what it is you need to know about yourself, then maybe you can get a second chance. Okay. Um, my only advice would be to trust your intuition. That That's my only advice I would have for you. So let's see here. We have the Magician, the World card, and the Hermit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's three big major arcana cards right off the bat. Okay. Let's see. The Two of Coins. The High Priestess. There we go. I want to talk about that intuition. The Ace of Swords. Move these up. The King of Cups. As I said, some people, this may, this may be a case of someone returning from the past. The um, Six of Cups. Yes. And then Le Pendu, the Hanged Man. Oh, wow. And underneath, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, just the weight of the cards alone, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana cards out of ten. Um, so what we're dealing with now are some huge um, spiritual influences, um, this is also planetary influences. The Papes, the um, High Priestess, represents the moon. The Hermit represents uh, the sign of Virgo. Now, I'm not, this is a general reading, okay? 
So I'm not going to sit here and say to you, this is strictly for Virgos or strictly for water signs or strictly for, this is a general reading. So these are just the energies. We know that we have, um, ah, wow, there's the wheel. Uh, this is Neptune, the hanged man, le bachelier, or the magician is um, Mercury. It's air. It's two air signs. Um, I think, God, I don't have it written on my other cards, but because sometimes I'm going so fast I can't think of everything. Um, let me pull out my old deck because I have it written on, on some of my cards. I'm going to just pull these out so that I can tell you exactly what forces are in play right now, and maybe that might make a little bit of sense to you. Um, yes, that's what I thought. Well, I mean, this is, right, we have a Venus-Saturn trine going on. Um, this is true. And then we need Le Batelier, who is Mercury coming in. So people, these are all of the plans. You know, I just posted up a new, it's actually Uranus. That's, that's the Le Bachelier. It's the Uranus energy. No, that's the fool. Wrong. But also, that's odd that I pulled that out because we know that <laughs> Uranus just went direct. So it could very well be, you know, just out of, I don't know, what, what I'm even saying. Um, hold on, I can't seem to... Ah, yes, Mercury, I was right. So, <clears throat> this is what they look like in the Rider Waite. We have the Magician, which represents the Mercury energy. We have the Hermit, which represents Virgo. We know that we have Jupiter in Virgo right now. We have the World card, which represents Saturn. We have, there's the Wheel of Fortune, which represents uh, Jupiter. And we have the High Priestess. And then we have the Hangman, which represents Neptune. And I think it is quite telling that we have this line of the King of Cups, uh, the Six of Cups, and the Hanged Man um, all together in one line. This is two lines of major arcana cards. So this is... In a sense, we could say past influences, but I think this is going on right now. Mercury is about to go retrograde, and we have Jupiter. I mean, uh, Saturn. Uh, we have a Saturn transit going on for some of us, and we have Virgo here. We know right now that Jupiter is in Virgo until September 2016. Um, and depending on uh, how your chart is laid out, uh, some of these influences, you won't be getting all of them. Uh, but you will be touched by some of them. Down here, um, we have Mercury, the Moon, and Neptune. We do have a transit coming up. And as I was saying, um, I just did a put up a link over on the blog. Um, it's the first one for January uh, that can uh, that that'll take you to the NASA Sky Calendar. So you can go over and take a look at that. That way, you can keep up with the full moon, the new moon, the eclipses, the the transits, the conjunctions these things. Now, for anything else, something more specific, you'll have to find an astrology website that'll tell you the transits that are going on. But they've got up on the NASA website the major transits that are happening with the planets right now. So basically what we're looking at with um, the High Priestess in the center, this is um, a time of reflection, of being still, uh, having inner stillness, uh, because as we can see, they're the two of coins. For some of us, this is a financial um, situation where we feel like we don't have enough and we're juggling. This can be particularly true coming out of the holidays. Maybe you overspent, like me, went to the mailbox yesterday and it was full of bills. I was like, dang, didn't I just pay these last month? Okay, so anyway, and then this is out in the future that you're going to be able to figure out or to recoup or recover. You're going to have the mental clarity that you need to, to um, figure out your finances. Okay. Um, but at the same token, we know that twos represent decisions 
um, that need to be made. There's an imbalance and it's trying to balance out whatever these things are. So the high priestess, La Pepez, is saying, go, go within, be still, and try to um, really do some soul searching to find out whatever these decisions are that you need to make, what is going to be the best way moving forward, okay? Um, also with the hermit. Now, this can say two things to me. We had Mercury or the magician, Le Batelier, who has all the tools necessary. So it's as if the cards are saying to me, you are going along, seems as though everything was fine, um, here with the world card, you were, you know, kicking butt and taking names, and then suddenly there was a halt. Now, this could really be about the Mercury retrograde that's coming up. I don't know even when it is. I, I don't know. But it could very well be the Mercury retrograde coming up. And we know that when Mercury goes retrograde, that means that whatever things you were working on, you know, they may come to a halt. Or there may be some problems with paperwork or something may break down or stop working or there could be some type of reversal where all of a sudden there's a stop and this could be why you know we have this two of coins with the papes and eventually you're going to be able to figure out what it is you need to do but there is for some of you or us there is this person um, the king of cups now, because all of this is kind of just, um, to me, planetary energies and mundane things coming in, then suddenly we have this line of emotions coming in. Um, this guy is in the past position, and he's looking forward to the Six of Cups. And we know that the Six of Cups um, is all about... Um, a return to innocence, um, a, a balancing of the emotions. Um, yes, it can mean a return. Um, it can mean soulmate connections. I, I, you know, I'm always warning you about that. So you do want to be careful, and perhaps that's why we have this la papes. But to me, this is speaking to someone returning from the past. But there is again a hold on that. Okay. Now, with Neptune coming into play, um, this means to me that there is still some confusion going on around the way either this person feels, just feels in general, or the way he, he or she feels about the situation, or the way he or she feels about you if you're involved with this person. Um, we have the Hermit, La Papesse, and the Roy de Coupe, which is the Hermit, the High Priestess, and the King of Cups. Um, this could indeed involve a water sign and an earth sign. Um, it could be an air sign and an earth sign. Um, but we have basically three cards that represent water. So I would suspect that this has more to do with... Um, a water sign person if anybody's involved with the water sign or if you're a water sign yourself so I'm thinking that <coughs> this energy really surrounds or hinges or is being um, activated around water emotions um, and this could be emotions about money about thoughts about love we know that Saturn here represents restrictions and limitations and if I pair that with this two of coins and le pen dieu, um, what this says to me is that there is some type of financial issue that is going on. Someone that feels restricted in their finances. Um, they are also being limited in their thoughts. Their thoughts are, are in conflict with the way that they feel. Um, even though this is an ace, um, and I say in conflict because this card mirrors that card. So I say there's a conflict. We know that this is um, about decisions, about contemplation, about um, an imbalance. Here we have the magician, the two. So this is a person who in the past was able to do whatever they wanted to do, but something came in 
and threw them off balance here. Um, with the limitations of, of Saturn coming in, it is a time to go in and reflect, but the person still has memories, okay? And their thoughts there. So it, it's not as though, let's put it this way. If you thought a situation might be hopeless or completely dead, I would say, I would say, I'm going to hazard a guess to say that it may not be, okay? So in this instance, you know, the hermit, the hermit is going within to find the, the knowledge. You have two cards of going within to find the knowledge. And maybe this represents the male and the female, both doing this at the same time. Um, but this is once coming out of this introspection, um, somebody is going to be able to talk about it and somebody won't. It's as if the cards are saying you're not going to get any answers as to what happened in the past or why things fell apart. So don't perhaps expect those answers. Somebody's going to be willing to talk about it. Somebody's not going to be willing to talk about it. And maybe it's not the right time. Okay? Maybe it's just not the right time for them to talk about it. In which case, I would advise you to um, just be open. Don't close yourself off. And... Uh, but to try to maintain um, your senses about it. Because it appears that after this person comes out, or whoever does the coming out, they know now exactly what's happening, but again, there's a wait. Okay? So what I'm going to do is quickly pull some... Um, this whole line, the magician having all of the tools necessary, creating reality with your mind. But a card of two, three cards of stillness. This is what I find to be very odd. Actually, four, four, three cards of stillness. Three cards of stillness. Um, this is, this is a self-sacrifice, okay? This is someone sacrificing because they have to sacrifice, and they know they have to sacrifice. They've thought about it. They know that this, and this is something that they've done willingly. This is the card of being still and going within, but not saying anything. This is the card of going within and then being able to come back out and tell you exactly what's going on to share what they what they found out or what they know. Um, and I do feel that it surrounds this water sign person. But the thing is, is that it's all up in the air right now. So I really can't, uh, this is a very odd spread. So let's see if I can, uh, Pull these Sabilas and find out even this card even though it says that there is everything is perfect the way that it is you've completed and this is all about the completion of cycles and it's like almost you're starting over again you've got the number one card the number two card and see this is a couple the magician and the high priestess these people, this is a couple. This is a couple. The number one and the number two. The empress, the number three, and the emperor, the number four, they're a couple. These two are a couple. Even though you don't see them as being a couple, but they both have magical powers. They both do. Um, this is the person who will lead the way. This is the person that can get the things done. But this is the person who, kind of like the power behind the throne, so to speak. Um, and you have the energy of this king of cups between these two people. Now, I could say just from characteristics alone that these two are a couple. Introspection uh, turned outward. Introspection kept inward, and again, with this energy between the two of them. 
and I feel that both people are waiting for what I don't know um, perhaps for this priestess here she's going through uh, a resurgence of work And this guy is dealing with things from his past that he has emotional ties to. Um, this is just really, these cards mirror each other. This card knights the, the king, I mean the ace of swords, as if the person, maybe they've been traveling, and during this travel they have come up with the, uh, new ideas, new ways of handling their finances or, you know, whatever it is, even maybe their emotions, maybe they've come to some realization about some things. Um, but again, there's a hold and it's up in the air. Um, this card also knights the magician. This is a card of movement, but it's on hold. Because it's up in the air. Um, this is quite... The line down the center... Um, to me, this speaks to the completion of a cycle for this woman. This person. Let's put it that way whether you are in same sex or if you if you're in the same sex and you take on the role as the female um this is a completion for this person in terms of having their emotions in balance now and perhaps this is why the magician is attached to this because i mean this card even knights the magician because this person has been able to utilize all of the tools that they've they have in order to come to a place of stillness and balance in their emotions but i would venture to say with the wheel of fortune there is going to be a change coming in let's take a look and see wow <laughs> i don't even know where to begin let's take a look and see what this uh, For some reason, the hermit keeps sticking out. Now, I have the mercante, the businessman, the suspiri, the longing or the waiting, and then the Giovanni Fantula. In this sense, I'm not getting that this is a, a, a well, I guess it could be anything's possible. A past contract or association that someone has been waiting for is finally going to come through. Okay? Or they, they're going to figure out a way for it. And it's going to be successful. However, there's a hold on it right now. But I could also say that this person, business person, or this contract, or this, this man, um has been waiting a long time for this virgin, which is kind of odd if we look at Virgo because it represents the virgin. We also know that the La Papesse can be looked upon in a relationship as the virgin whore. So I think the symbolism is not lost, but virgin does not mean that she's not sexually active. It is just someone who, um, in a way, is considered to be pure of some, in, in some maybe emotions, maybe in thought. Um, but this person has been waiting for a long time. Um, given that, let's go ahead and look at the, now. There is still something we don't know. And I think there's still something this person does not know. 
we have of the past, the precious presence, the letterato, the thinking man, and then we have the morte. Um, either someone is thinking that this will has already ended before it began, or this person is thinking that it's a, a new beginning for them. At least a change has come about, perhaps due to this person. Um, with all of these cards being huge spiritual cards, I'm going to say to you that this is a highly, highly, um, let's call it an enigmatic encounter, okay? When you met this person or when you found yourself in this situation, um, it was unlike anything you have ever experienced before where you absolutely know, even though you question it and you think you've been delusional, um, you question the fact that um, that the connection, you question the connection, whether it's real or whether it's not. That's this. Um, and it has brought about a bunch of changes, mostly internal changes. And now some of these are manifesting in the outward sense. Let's see what this two of coins, this decisions, is all about. Well, the Vidovo, the widower, the man. Uh, well, at, you know, this card speaks to a situation that's completely over. And let's say that it centers around this Dona Maritata. This could be a woman with children or someone who's very nurturing. And there is a return of some kind, a return. Now, because this comes out in the past line, <coughs> this could speak to a past situation where someone alone made a return back. They made the decision to return back to this situation with the person to become the King of Cups. Um, Let's leave it at that because let's look across and see what we can find out. Now, the domestico, some type of help or influence has come in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that has brought a realization about happiness of the heart and perhaps the highly spiritual nature of a relationship or a contract. This could speak to perhaps, this is a future line, um, something coming in of a contractual nature or a relationship nature. Um, we do have these cards looking forward, um, all three, a change or this could be an ending, really. Um, it could go either way. It could go either way. Ah, that's what I don't like. <laughs> um, if I look at all of the top cards, either a success or a person, an ending or beginning, a return or a visit of a highly spiritual nature, in a contractual or relationship sense. Let's see what the person is trying to manifest. Well, it appears that their manifestation was thwarted in a sense, or maybe they had the wrong idea because we have a card of desperate jealousy. We have disgrazia. And we have La Dona del Servicio. She always is helpful, but these are very negative cards on something that typically the magician is considered to be the card of success. Um, so what this says to me is that whatever this was here in this past line, it was not successful. And that something, but in a sense, it, it's a help. I, I can't explain it any other way. Let's look at Le Pendu. Let's 
someone is thinking about uh, something that was new in the past, but there's a lot of worry about it. Uh, as I was saying at the beginning, it, it's as though this person is having trouble uh, balancing their thoughts and their emotions. This is creating a lot of worry. Now, it could also be that um, if we say this is the card of return, that someone is thinking back. They're hoping that there's going to be a return. We do have the Viaggio. A rekindling, so to speak, and there's a lot of worries surrounding this that maybe it won't happen. You know? I Last card down. Okay. <laughs> Someone being tied down in the past. But literally, fortune is changing, luck is changing, expansion, destiny is coming into play. And this card, in this sense, is still telling me that I don't know how this is going to go out. There is movement, but because it is coming out with the rest of the cards, troops sometimes do hidden movements, so I still don't know. Um, I don't know and I think that's very telling that those three cards came out on top of the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever this is, um, it is in play. I think it would, if you find yourself in this situation, you know, and remember this card, I pulled this out and I, it had to come out for a reason, the Fool card. This is about brand new beginnings, okay? The world is the very last of the major arcana. This is the very first, starting over. So we literally have 21. Then we start over at the 0, the 1, and the 2. Okay? This is a brand new way of thinking. It is brand new realizations. And that's what Uranus. Uranus is associated with the Tower card. Um... The tower is not always about the uh, bad things happening to you. It is about things happening to you unexpectedly. Insights coming to you unexpectedly. Sudden truth, sudden realizations. Um, literally, it could be somebody showing up from your past. It could be your car breaking down. It could be anything. And attached with this wheel of fortune and all of these huge spiritual cards, along with the one ace that has come out, um, let me pull some cards on this to see. Now, a brand new beginning that's dealing with the house. There's been some kind of shakeup. There have been some bad choices that have to do with this quote unquote female rival or this woman who plots in secret. I do not feel that she is this La Papesse, but I do feel perhaps that they may be the same. If it's again going back to that theme of three people, these three women are all one woman. Well, they're two women. They're two women but they all embody the same thing. I, I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Both women are the same. They are both uh, rivals. They're both virgins. They're both Dona Maritatas. They're, it's success and not success with both women. Um, but there is some movement upon the horizon. I can't tell you anything else but that. I'm going to leave it, uh, leave that with you. If you're interested in getting a reading, please go ahead and go over to the website, check out the new products and prices, um, and then hit me up, let me know. Um, this is quite, quite interesting. So that's it, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. I'm going to be trying to get the January monthlies up. Uh, we'll just see. Check back on the website, and you'll find out. 
All right, until then, namaste, travelers.